Hi, this is Ariane from La Fée de la Mer, handmade soap shop in the Magdalene Islands, um, Quebec, Canada. Today, I'm posting this video to let you know about a couple things. Uh, first thing, I'm gonna do my Christmas soap pick for this year. It's actually the first time that I'm gonna be doing this, so I'm basically I'm gonna quickly review a few soaps, handmade soaps, by other soap makers from um, some of them are Canadian and some of them are from really really far away and uh, so I'm gonna let you know about a couple of these products and, com and soap companies because as a soap maker I would never go back to commercial soap I will only buy and use soaps that are handmade by me or other soap makers and I find that it's a great way in this holiday season to help other small businesses grow the first soap I'm going to show you today is a soap that was sent to me by a company called I Am Handmade. I placed an order online for a couple of their soaps and they even sent me a couple uh, a couple gifts. They put little pieces of soaps in there. I can show you. I got two little soaps just like this and I received a beautiful box. She even packaged it with Christmas wrapping paper. <laughs> which was really nice and um, I got a couple soaps from her but the one I'm gonna show you that I've tried I've tried two of them so far but my favorite one has been this one it's called La Va Voom. it's a handmade soap made with um, sweet almond oil, golden olive oil, aloe vera, goat's milk, buttermilk, yogurt, super fine oat milk, pure fresh avocado fresh Irish dairy cream, white clay, green clay, cocoa butter, and pure silk. It looked really healthy and like a vitamin for my skin. It's really soothing and relaxing. So I like natural soaps the best. Of course, I like using colored soap too, and my kids enjoy them as well. So I ordered this one, which is called Sugar Candy Kiss, which is also a silk soap, and it's got these really nice color and this really sweet smell. So that's for I Am Handmade. I will put the link below to everybody's um, website or Facebook page or whatever link I can give you for them. Also, if you want to treat yourself or pamper your mother <laughs> or anybody else, uh, Malaspina Soap Factory makes shampoo bars and conditioner. She has different kinds of shampoo bars and different kinds of conditioner. Here's the one I use. It's made with lavender, Spanish lavender essential oil. And my conditioner is a beer, beer conditioner that smells like mint. It smells really nice and the feeling of my hair was really good too. You might know uh, from my Facebook page that I did the No Makeup November month. So last month there was no makeup for me, no hair product, no nothing artificial on my face or my body. I've tried other shampoo bars before and my hair kind of felt like, like, I don't know how to explain, but when you put your fingers through it, it doesn't glide down, it's kind of sticky. And um, I guess using this handmade conditioner also helps with the, the touch and the feeling on your hair after using uh, handmade soap or shampoo bars on your hair. Now she is such a kind woman. I bought some soaps from her, but she, she like, I don't know, she wanted to treat me, so she sent me this little soap. It's called Lindy's Little Lamb, and also uh, Spanish Lavender Artisan Soap. Both of them um, are really nice. This, they ha this one smells like lavender, which is one of my favorite essential oils, so I'm really happy. I didn't try this one yet, but me and my kids and my whole family actually tried this soap. You can tell because it's not so new anymore. <laughs> my kids really loved it. They washed their hands over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Linda Lu. Linda Lu. Thank you, Linda Lu. It lathers really nice, but it's not a fluffy lather. It's more like a moisturizing lather. It's really, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of thick, and it, it really has a lotion feel on your hands. So it's like a lotion and a soap, two in one, and it's made with wool. That's why it's called Lindy's Little Lamb. Did I say Lindy's Little Soap? Anyways, it's Lindy's Little Lamb and that's because she put wool in the soap and she says that the benefits are similar to those of silk in the soap and it's, it, if it, 
I don't know if the wool gives it the texture, but it, it has a really nice texture. This soap is just great and amazing, and I'm gonna cry when I'm gonna run out. <sighs> Linda Lou Forsett, the owner of Malice Penis Soap Factory, has such great products. She even makes tooth soap. It's a soap that cleans your teeth. From now on, I am tossing the chemicals out of my mouth. It's easy to use and has a great taste. Here's another soap company I wanted to let you know about. Uh, the concept is great. They have a goat farm on the site and the soap shop is right next door and the boutique is integrated. It's Their house is next door. Uh, they are almost my neighbor. They are in Prince Edward Island. It's in eastern Canada. They are called the Great Canadian Soap Go and they make these lovely goat's milk soap. Um, when you go in their shop, you won't see any fancy swirls and flashy colors. Everything is natural. They, they go get the milk from the goats and then they make soap with it. It's awesome. The kids love it. My kids went there and they, they had like chickens running around and we saw one of the employees uh, bottle feed a baby goat. It was so cute. Anyway, so this is one of the soaps from them that I have tried. It's um, an unscented goat milk soap. I've used it on myself as well as on my kids. It makes a great, smooth, moisturizing, moisturizing lather. Uh, they also have these. They call them facial muffins. They are uh, hand-milled soap. This one is with lavender. And uh, this one is only a half one because they were quite pricey, so I just pur purchased half. But um, they have all the, these other cake, I mean, <laughs> soap muffins that they make. They're not all facial muffin, but this one is a facial muffin, so you can use it to clean your face and have a really nice smooth skin. So um, give them a try. They have a website, they sell online, and um, they are a great soap business. All right, um, some of you might know I organized a Canadian soap swap a couple weeks ago. And um, I'm going to show you two of the soaps that I've received. The first one is called Spicy Christmas. Here's the soap wrapped. Mm, okay. And here's the soap unwrapped. You can see that there's a lovely uh, color pattern. It's red and dark teal. And it smells like spices. I can't say if it's more clove or cinnamon or maybe a little bit of zesty orange in there, but it smells just like spice. It doesn't have a big fluffy lather, but it's really really moisturizing it has shea butter in there and I think shea butter is one of the oils or butter that gives a really nice uh, feeling on the skin this one is made by a woman called Liz Durian Watson I think she just started her soap business not too long ago I will put the link below um, this video if you like her soaps and want to encourage her new business and it's got olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, castor oil, goat's milk, dessau silk, fragrance and colorants I'm going to show you a picture uh, the the soap um, unwrapped. Check this design. Isn't it nice? It kind of looks like a Christmas tree, like a green and red Christmas tree. Uh, it's a goat's milk soap, so the lather is really nice and fluffy and white. And it's got a really nice uh, feeling on the skin. It's not drying at all. And this smell just reminds me of, I don't know, a comfy place to be. It's the holidays and I feel like giving. Yep, I picked a soap in my soap shop. It's Applejack Peel. It's made with local beeswax, a whole bunch of vegetable oils and butters, and local fresh dairy cream. It smells like Applejack and Peel, and I think the design is not so bad. So, if you want to win this soap, open your ears, because I'm going to tell you how you can do that. First thing, you can like my Facebook page. I will pick randomly someone that likes my Facebook page anywhere in the world. I will pay for the shipping, so there's no worries there. All you need to do is like my page, and if um, if you win, well, I'll private message you, and you'll give me your address, and I'll ship the soap next Monday. Um, you can also uh, tweet about this giveaway. I will tweet about it, and you can look at the link below and retweet my tweets, and so. Um, every day you can tweet once and that will give you more chances to win the giveaway. You have until Saturday because the giveaway will close on Saturday at 12 and Sunday I will pick out the winner randomly and Monday I will ship out the box. So, or, or if I get a hold of you only Monday I guess I'll ship it Tuesday but 
try to stay tuned because if you want to get this soap before Christmas and if you live in Australia, well, this soap needs to be shipped. Last but not least, uh, I just wanted to give you some news about what I'm going to do in the next couple months. As you might know, if you follow my YouTube channel, I've been reviewing soap equipments and soap molds and soap things and, you know, such things in, the, uh, in my last videos. And I will continue to do so if people ask me for it. But I'd also like to review other soap makers, soaps and cosmetic products. So if you are looking for some publicity for free, well, uh, you can send me a request through my uh, Facebook page or if I find your products are interesting and I'd like to try them, well, I could send you a request too. But anyhow, um, contact me and if I'm okay with it and if I have time, well, uh, one, once or twice um, a month I could make a review or maybe just once a month. I'll see what, what time I have for this. It depends on the season. In the winter I'm not so busy, but in the summer I'm crazy busy and I won't be doing any reviews in the summertime. <laughs> That's for sure. So anyways, uh, what I'll need though is the product you want me to test. So you will need to send me a, a bar of soap or a lotion or whatever you'd like me to try. I will bring it in my soap lab and analyze it. This actually translates into taking a shower or a bath and using the product uh, on myself. I will also use it on my family if it's a kid safe product and uh, then I will make a full review of your um, cosmetic or soap product and I'll also give a small description about yourself and your company. <clears throat> yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all I had to say about that. One last thing I wanted to say is I am so thankful for the 3,544 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Yay! I never thought I would have like 3,000 and more people following my YouTube channel. When I started off, I had like nobody to subscribe. And I was like, oh well, you know, I'll just put it out there and see what happens. And not even a year later, woohoo! <laughs> so thank you to every single one of you who's been watching and following me on my YouTube channel. And if you're a French Canadian or French from anywhere else, you can check my uh, La Fille de la Mars YouTube channel. It's all French videos. So, see you later. And I wish you the best holiday ever. I hope this Christmas is not too stressful. You should be in a really comfy place with people you love and enjoy the holidays. See you next year. No, maybe I'll do one last video before the holidays if I have time. Anyways, I'll see you either in the new year or maybe ones before then. So until next time, take care and I will see you. It's a Irish, no, Ireland. Irish. Yeah, Irish is from Ireland. Oops. If you want to participate in the giveaway, open your ears and listen carefully because... <sighs> so that the videos will be like really separate. Okay, that's the power that just went out. It's like blowing... <sighs> it's blowing... Oh, it's back. It's blowing 120 kilometers per hour of wind outside today. This was Ariane at La Fille de la Mer Handmade Soap Shop. Bye bye! Thank you, Dear Galou. Thank you, Ville Galou. Thank you, Dear Galou. Thank you, Ville Galou. Génial.